Big breaking news coming in this morning. Uh, Chandrababu Naidu, former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, has been arrested in Nandeyala city of Andhra Pradesh. He will be airlifted by the police very soon. He's been arrested on allegations of corruption. This comes after the Andhra Pradesh Crime Investigation Department registered a case following a notice issued by the Enforcement Directorate a few days ago. The arrest warrant on Chandrababu Naidu was served in the early hours of Saturday as the former Chief Minister was resting in his vanity van following a public address in the city of Nandeyala in Andhra Pradesh. A case of corruption has led to his arrest following a notice issued by the Enforcement Directorate. The Andhra Pradesh CID, Crime in, uh, Investigation Department, has swooped down and arrested Chandrababu Naidu. These are images you can see of him undergoing a mandatory medical test before he was taken into custody by the Crime Investigation Department. Remember, Andhra Pradesh is ruled by uh, uh, Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, uh, who is a bitter rival of Chandrababu Naidu. The Telugu Desam Party and the YSRCP are rivals in Andhra Pradesh. It's a state that goes to the elections uh, next year alongside the Lok Sabha elections. Chandrababu Naidu and YS Jagan Mohan Reddy have been bitter rivals. A lot of politics will be read into this arrest, but on the ground, the facts remain that Chandrababu Naidu, former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, in a dramatic early morning development, has been arrested from Nandeyal City in Andhra Pradesh. I'm going to be joined in exactly 10 seconds from now by India Today's Abdul Bashir. Uh, Abdul is live with us. Abdul, take us through the details. Corruption case, Chandrababu Naidu arrested. What's going on? Uh, absolutely, today morning in the morning at three around three thirty, the APCID has approached uh, Nandiyala where Chandrababu Naidu uh, was uh, uh, in the ongoing yatra that is going on. Now the APCID has uh, arrested uh, Chandrababu Naidu in skill development case. Uh, Chandrababu Naidu has been named as accused one in the skill development case. Is what TDP is claiming, uh, which involves two fifty uh, crores of scam, and the police officials have provided uh, the advocates of Chandrababu Naidu with details of the FIR copy. And uh, as issue, uh, orders issued by the High Court, where an arrest warrant has been issued against Chandra Babu Naidu. A case has been registered uh, under sections uh, 120B, 166, 167, and 418, 420, uh, that is cheating, and uh, several other sections, including 4, uh, 34 and 37 IPC, of, and section 12, uh, 13, clause 2, uh, Red Bay 13, uh, 1C. Uh, for Prevention of Corruption Act. So several, uh, you know, uh, sections have been imposed against uh, TDP Chief Nana Chandra Babu Naidu uh, in this uh, alleging corruption. And uh, right now, the EPCID is making efforts to arrest him. So he's, uh, he has been shifted to Nanyala Hospital where the medical examination is going on. And after that, he will be uh, taken to Vijaywada where the further procedure, uh, where the remand uh, will be requested to the Honorable High Court by the EPCID police. And any word from the government about what's going to happen? He's going to be taken. He's been taken. Let's listen. Thro aadhar algu de chupi kunda. Heroj nannu arash seesavani chepe paristiko charu. Then adiga nu yenge isan chappan. King in the local Telugu. We'll get that translated for you in just a moment. But Abdul, what happens next? He's being airlifted now. He's going to be taken into custody. Any word from the government about this? See, uh, the government, uh, the YSR city government has res not responded on this case, uh, but they had been claiming that Chandrababu Naidu uh, of uh, this scam time and again, there are several leaders who have at least Chandrababu Naidu in uh, this scam and also uh, the uh, leader, the, the Chandrababu Naidu, had been stating in his discussion with the APCID police that uh, the, uh, the, there is no uh, you know, uh, evidence, the prima facie does not involve him in this case, but yet uh, there are no uh, documents or, uh, uh, apart from the warrant, the arrest warrant, the other documents have not been issued of, uh, uh, you know, showed to Narachandra Babu Naidu where uh, he is said to be arrested in this case. So uh, the police had uh, not issued any, uh, not showed any FIR to Chandra Babu Naidu is what he claimed. So uh, no evidences against Chandra Babu Naidu uh, in the discussion that we have seen just now. He was speaking in Telugu where he is asking the police as to on what uh, context is he being arrested when there are no charges against him uh, in the FIR. But yet uh, the police, uh, the APCID police have made all the efforts since uh, 3.30 a.m. in the morning uh, to uh, arrest him. Uh, several uh, leaders and Karikarsas had started 
reaching in huge numbers uh, to Nandiyala, where uh, Chandrababu Naidu had halted his camp, uh, where uh, in his vanity van, uh, and around 6 a.m. he had a discussion with the APCID police, after which the police had uh, shown the warrant, the arrest warrant against Anna Chandrababu Naidu, and stated that he will be uh, arrested soon. So this uh, is the situation that is going on in Nandiyala as of now, and uh, right now he is at the government hospital where a medical examination is going on. The government has not responded yet. The police is making APCID, uh, is making all efforts to arrest uh, Nara Chandra Babu Naidu. Apart from that, if we see several leaders, several top leaders of the TDP yeah. have been house arrested or, uh, you know, detained in several places. And also Nara Lokesh, who is uh, uh, in his yatra, has been uh, stopped at his camp and not allowed to move, for, move further. So this is a situation that is going on in the Andhra Pradesh uh, pertaining to Nara Chandra Babu Naidu's arrest. This is a 250 crore rupee skill development scam, Abdul, in which, uh, in which Chandra Babu Naidu has been dramatically arrested. And these are live pictures uh, coming in from Nandial. Not, not, uh, I beg your pardon, not live, but just before uh, uh, he was taken into custody, there was a medical test that was conducted. He's been taken to a, a hospital now for the deeper medical uh, 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 check before being taken into custody. So a big, big political morning, even as G20 kicks off. And I will be continuing our G20 coverage in just a few minutes from now. But this is too big a story to ignore, viewer. A former chief minister of Andhra Pradesh has been arrested, Chandrababu Naidu, uh, you know, one of the most well-known politicians of the new generation, has been arrested. And he has been taken into custody following that medical test in a 250 crore rupee skill development scam. This is after the Enforcement Directorate had issued notice on this early this morning. Let's, uh, let's play out for you what Chandrababu Naidu has said in Telugu. My colleague Abdul Bashir, who's still online with us, will translate what he's saying. <laughs> I want a proof of concept what are the prima facie even on to choose the allegation against me. Yeah, what is the prima facie against me? FIR is in this case. And okay, FIR copy of the role gani. You have registered an FIR against me. You know, just a very simple charu. It is chala. Bada karam. This is very disappointing. That the police is uh, making efforts to arrest. Police is telling that they will provide all the details once he is being examined. All the uh, details have been submitted to the Honorable High Court, and uh, the materials have been submitted there. Uh, materials have been produced there. General Babu Naidu is stating that uh, the, 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 this government has uh, made efforts to fall, uh, you know, file false cases against me and arrest me in false uh, allegations. This is very disappointing. I am very hurt uh, in this matter and with a lot of uh, distress I am uh, mentioning it. Yes, have broken out in Nandial city in Andhra Pradesh where Chandrababu Naidu has just been arrested. These are images from, uh, from right now in Nandial where supporters, members of the Telugu Desam party of Chandrababu Naidu protesting as he's taken away by the police. Let's just try and get some sound in from the ground of those protests. Okay, I want to go across to Professor Jyotsna. She's spokesperson of the Telugu Desam Party. Uh, Professor Jyotsna, good morning. Uh, your leader, Chandrababu Naidu, has been arrested by the CID in Nandeyal City. What more can you share with us, ma'am? Yeah, the, uh, the, it is very unfortunate that the state government is hell-bent on doing this revenge-based politics because the point is they have, they have come at uh, almost in the midnight hundreds of policemen, almost in the midnight, they come and knock the doors of the place where Sir is residing. And in fact, they haven't got any substantiative evidences with them. They have, when the 
the, the name of our Supremo is not there in the FIR. The name of our Supremo is not even mentioned in the charge sheet. No substantiated evidence is given. No paper is given. Just absolutely. Just coming there and telling that we want to arrest you on what basis? Who has given you the right to, uh, you know, deviate all the processes? And one more thing. Uh, let, let me put you across the uh, different attitude of this particular government. Uh, in, in, and probably a couple of months ago, Mr. Avinash Reddy, the MP who is accused in a murder case, he couldn't, uh, he wasn't, um, you know, the CBI wasn't able to arrest him because local SP quoted that there could be law and order issue. The police did not support them. And now the police, hundreds of policemen come to the place and uh, at the middle of the night, is that Supremo running away anywhere? What is this? It's clearly a hell-bent attitude of the state government to just, uh, you know, showcase, uh, you know, uh, what, what should we say? Jagan Reddy is uh, probably um, thinking in a way that I have gone to jail, so all the leaders should be going to jail. That's his only motto. There's nothing else. It's, it's clearly a revenge-based politics of Jagan Mohan Reddy that's happening in the state of Andhra Pradesh, and TDP will refute, they will fight back. Because Chandra Babu Naidu Garu has been working for the people of Andhra Pradesh. He has got no personal benefits anywhere in any particular cases. It's been very clear, even in this particular case. Sometimes they say it's a skill development case and the CID is getting it. On what basis? In the skill development case, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu has not been involved. All that has been cleared and lakhs of kids who are reaping the benefits of skill development today are the example of what a visionary leader can think. And okay, Jagan Professor Jyotsla, I case. want to... Professor Joshua, stay with me. I just want to tell our viewers a little bit more. You're saying that this is political vendetta to silence Chandra Babu Naidu. Next year, there are elections in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, Mr. Naidu has been campaigning quite extensively uh, to try and revive the Telugu Desam Party in Andhra Pradesh, which is currently ruled by his rival, YS Jaganmohan Reddy. I just want to give our viewers some context. I also want to pull in my colleague, uh, India Today's uh, Munish pa Pandey, who covers the enforcement directorate and agencies for us. Uh, Munish, welcome. Uh, I'm coming to you in just a moment. Quickly, just want to summarize for our viewers and give them context of what this uh, alleged scam is. The Andhra government, uh, led by the Telugu Desam Party uh, in 2014, had set up the Andhra Pradesh Skill Development Corporation, or APSDC, to train unemployed youth in various areas and enhance their skills in order to make them employable. Uh, but this particular corporation ended up getting mired in a series of different scams. The Enforcement Directorate's investigation into the matter basically said that the Telugu Desam Party government in Andhra Pradesh had violated the AP Civil Works Code and the AP Financial Code by releasing 371 crore rupees even before the project started and without calling for any tenders and that uh, uh, work was drafted. Work orders were drafted worth 371 crores without mentioning the 90% in-kind grant provided to companies. The scam basically came to light uh, after a whistleblower complained to the Anti-Corruption Bureau in 2018. So the scam happened in 2014, allegedly, and it came to light in 2018, uh, a year before, a year before uh, YS Jagan Reddy swept to power in 2019. Munish, Enforcement Directorate notice and within hours or minutes, I would say, a big swoop down, a big crackdown. Naidu has been arrested, but this is a case that goes back a while, Munish. Well, Shiv, there are almost four agencies involved in this entire investigation. Uh, in 2014, when the matter came into the light, in 2015, there was an assessment done by the Income Tax Department. And Income Tax Department gave the report to the state police and also forward the report to the enforcement directorate. Based on the same report in 2021, uh, the Andhra Pradesh uh, Criminal Investigation Department, they lodged an FIR against uh, several individuals. Of course, Chandrababu Naidu was not then mentioned as an accused uh, uh, in that FIR, but uh, sources within the Andhra Pradesh police have told India today that during investigation, they got certain evidence against Chandra Babu Naidu, and that is why he has been arrested. He has been arrested. As far as Enforcement Directorate is concerned, they are conducting an investigation under Prevention of Money Laundering Act. But here, what is important here is to, uh, to point out that uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, the former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, the Chief of Television Party, 
he was the one who was heading the state when this entire scam took place. And we, when we talk about this scam, you know, not only this department, which was run by the government, but also there were certain tech companies from Maharashtra and other states of uh, the country. They were also involved in the project. So not only Chandra Babu Naidu, but there were several other individuals, several officials of other private companies. They were also um, um, uh, investigated by the department. Of course, the timing of this arrest is going to be certainly important. It is going to be questioned politically because the FIR was, uh, was lodged in December 2021, and we are in 2023. So almost after 18 months, the arrest has taken place, and the arrest has taken place just before the election. And she, this is also important to point out that yesterday, in a public, public rally, Chandrababu Naidu openly announced that he will be arrested very soon. And this morning, 6 o'clock, the officer of the CID, he reached the uh, door of uh, Chandrababu Naidu, at 6 a.m. this morning, he was served an arrest memo, and according to that arrest memo, Chandrababu Nadu has not been arrested under several sections of Indian Penal Court, which are non billable which okay. means that he can get relief only from the court, but also under Prevention of Corruption Act, which means that the matter becomes very serious. But politically, okay. um, um, I have been speaking to people close to Chandrababu Naidu. They are saying that they are going to use it in the political rallies. They will try to... And, try the, to and the political rallies have uh, actually already erupted. I want to get a, a, an angle on that from India Today's Polomi Saha, who broke the story as well. Uh, Polomi, uh, the politics of it is, uh, is something that cannot be ignored Protests have already started. Andhra Pradesh elections next year. The arrest comes 18 months after, uh, you know, after the fact, which uh, will raise questions about timing as well. What are you hearing? This must have already sent out tremors into the political landscape. Well, absolutely. As Munish was pointing out over there, Shiv, uh, the, uh, the TDP will be definitely using this in their election uh, campaign. The timing of this is significant. They're pointing out to the fact that Andhra Pradesh elections are around uh, the corner. Uh, they happen along with the Lok Sabha elections of 2024. And this is uh, why uh, Jagan Reddy basically scared of uh, Chandra Babu Naidu in the campaign that he's been leading. He was, in fact, on the campaign trail in Anandpur and Nandapali when, in fact, uh, this uh, happened. He was in his vanity van at about 3.30 a.m. is when the APCID reached his vanity van with the arrest memo, which categorically stated that they cannot grant him bail. This is a non-bailable arrest warrant, and he will have to seek bail in court only. And then, of course, so what happened was a conversation that went on for close to about, uh, uh, you know, till about 6 a.m. this morning, when officially then uh, Chandra Babu Naidu uh, agreed to, uh, you know, go with the police and uh, cooperate with the law. Before that, of course, what you saw, what you witnessed on the ground, and I'm sure we're beaming those images, uh, TDP cadres who were there as part of the campaign trail were basically protesting, raising slogans, trying to stop uh, the APCID. But uh, Chandra Babu Naidu and his officials asked for, uh, you know, the arrest memo, what they then said is that, uh, you know, the FIR does not name him at all. Uh, but what the police uh, said at that point of time is that this is just uh, the first part of the investigation. They will get more details as part <coughs> of the remand copy within 24 hours. So what we believe now okay. is that Chandra Babu Naidu is being taken to a local hospital in the area for medical examination, after which he will be produced in court and possibly after that airlifted to Vijayawada. Okay. Polomi, thanks very much for joining us on that. He's going to be airlifted to Vijayawada, and he's already been arrested. Medical tests are being conducted. The big political in, uh, implications of this uh, broken down here on in India today, and we'll get you the fallout as the day progresses.